Goki Genyo homies, Wade Willis here, and you guys know what it is. It's Higurashi Thursdays. So pumped for this. The first arc of Sotes was absolutely amazing. They wrapped it up in three episodes, which I'm a big fan of. Um, I'm really interested to see how the answers arc of this second arc goes. Uh, there were, I had way more questions at the end of that arc than the first one, so I think there's a lot of different ways they can go here that are going to be possibly very interesting or surprising. And yeah, guys, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for tons of other When They Cry content. I am going to be posting a Madoka Magica reaction. I, st uh, I actually watched the first few episodes, haven't uploaded it yet. It's my first time seeing that, so if you guys like that, be on the lookout for that. And possibly going to be doing a reaction for the Resident Evil CGI anime thing. Um, if you guys want to see me do a reaction to that, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, guys, so excited for this. And uh, be on the lookout for my analysis video out later today for this episode as well. Go. So freaking pumped for this. Oh, okay. You're damn right. Yeah, this is a huge disadvantage to Rika not having Hanyu really have her powers. The fact that she can kind of remember it is good, though. You're about to have way more. Oh, she can see their own things? Oh, man. That is...
Look how mad she looks. So one thing I think is important to um, point out when we're hearing this. So EO, I'm pronouncing it wrong. You guys will let me know in the comments. EO, uh, uh, in this, she's like super amused by Satoko. But if I remember correctly in this um, uh, OP, and I think it's coming up soon, you see that she looks kind of bored, which for like witches is like the, yeah, like right here, she's like yawning. That's like the worst thing for them because they're basically immortal and like their whole thing is not getting bored. Um, so especially like I, I'm I'm uh, reading Umineko. Uh, be on the lookout for that too, guys. Uh and just what I've seen with the witches, like, boredom is, like, really, it, it kind of is a weakness for them because they, they start acting a bit crazy to, like, be entertained. But it's also, um, like, you know when they're bored, something wild's probably going to happen. But yeah, we should have a focus on Mion and Xion in this uh, arc. Either one or both of them. Imagine if she's like, wait, what'd you say, Stoko? <laughs> <laughs> That's really not who you, how you should be talking to your landlady. <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> Is he gonna win? She gonna win him money, and then he's really gonna be whipped on her. That's insane, Oz.
How much money would that be? <laughs> He's like her simp. <laughs> it's so weird to see him like this. Hmm. Is she going to inject him? Oh my god. What is she trying to buy? I'm so intr what is that? I'm trying to think of
What is it? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and guns are just... Okay, it kind of makes sense, her getting the gun. How are you able to use that at school? Jeez. Hmm. Interesting, if Rika finds her like this, that could have been something that was a, uh... jeez. Good Lord. Although shooting a gun like the back, the... Oh, I guess she's been doing that in other loops then? Oh, this is, okay, this is the doll part. I feel like that second arc, we almost started, we've had a whole week that we got to see before, um, that we didn't really see in this last arc. Oh my gosh, they do such a good job of making her look sinister. <laughs> I love Rana.
Can't remember a single math formula. <laughs> Still kills me. Is she going to inject her right here? <laughs> this is so ballsy. Oh, those are all so cute. That thing is creepy. That is probably true. She's so happy. <laughs> it's so ballsy. Okay. Really good episode. Um, yeah, we got to see just so much that we... Because uh, I, I feel like we almost really started at the... Um, doll part uh for the f second arc maybe i'm wrong maybe that was in the second episode but um all the stuff we got to see was toko getting the gun because that was a big thing that people were kind of like questioning how she got the gun whose gun was it maybe it was like um Mion's gun or someone like that because it is kind of difficult to get guns in japan so it was pretty important that we did get to see that. And then, uh, yeah, we're kind of seeing how much of a, like, and I, I'm being kind of a dick saying this, but, like, um, Tepe is really just a simp for Stoko. Like, he, he regrets all these things he's done, and he just, like, wants to help her. So he's kind of just, like, to her beck and call. So it kind of makes sense. Um, like, I can't remember which arc it was, probably the fourth where him and Keiichi kind of face off, uh, where I don't think he was injected with the syndrome. I think he was just attacking Keiichi probably because, uh, Stoka told him to, or so there was like an intruder or something like that. So, um, yeah, overall really freaking good, uh, episode, um, Again, not a, not a ton of action, but we just the plot was really progressed 
a lot and we learned a lot. Uh, I personally liked the episode. Uh, did I like it as much as like, see the difficult thing to compare it to like the first arc, we got like those like first two episodes like that in one day. So I watched them in a row. So it was a little bit, uh, kind of different for me separating the episodes because those two kind of like flow together. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys thought about the episode in the comments below. Let me know any theories you have. Uh, did this episode ruin some of your theories? Let me know and then I will have an analysis and theories video out later today. So be on the lookout for that. Probably filming uh, another Umi Nako playthrough today as well and I should have that up today too. So look out for those guys and yeah thanks for checking out my video